Hello everyone, today we are going to have a look at FIGL extraction using VI content. Now the steps to be followed would be to identify the appropriate data source and understand the data flow diagram from helpdoc.sap.com. Install the relevant BW objects in VI content, activate the data source and replicate it to BW, model the data flow and load data. As simple as that. And just before we proceed to practically doing it, let's just have a look at the data flow diagram that I have uh, copied over from the from sap.com. Uh, now this right at the bottom here is our data source 0 fi underscore gl underscore 10. This supplies data to the ODS object 0 fi gl underscore o10 and the ODS object or the DSO in turn supplies data to basic cube 0 fi gl underscore c10. Now all the other providers here are virtual or remote so we can just ignore them for now. We are going to uh, take into consideration the info cube, the ODS object and the data source in our demonstration. Okay, so let, let's get down to it. First log into your PW system. Go to the transaction RSA1. Go to info providers. Have a look at. Uh, I mean, you could you could just do a search and check out if your info provider is already activated. Zero FIGL underscore C10. Now it does not exist, which means that we are going to have to get it from BI content. Click on BI content and click on info providers by info areas now you can search for it here as well 0fi underscore 0fi gl underscore c10 there it is it's under financial accounting general ledger accounting general ledger accounting new and that's your info cube now before you go ahead and drop it onto your collected objects pane you might want to change your grouping to in data flow before if it is not already selected as such and change the collection mode to collect automatically and ensure your display is set to list drag the object and allow it some time to collect all the necessary objects There you go. You can see that all the necessary objects that are required to build the data flow for the info cube 0 FIGL underscore C10 are collected and they are collected in, uh, by object groups. So basically the important thing to note here would be we are going to collect the info objects, info areas, the info cube and the data store object. Or the ODS object. We are going to skip the rest of them because we will we will try and build them by ourselves. So in order to skip these, you need to right click and say do not install any below. You're going to install the info areas, but it looks like we already have the inst uh, info required info areas in our modeling view. So we might not need to install all of them. You can. Uh, note here that whichever info areas or whichever objects for that matter are already active in the system are displayed as such in your bi content workbench so i can just ignore them and go ahead and check if your info cube is selected it is great now you you might want to have a look at your info objects if they are active or you need to collect them now bef prior to this uh, session I had actually installed or done a, a you know a test session so almost all of the, the objects that info objects that we require for this particular info cube are already available and active in the modeling uh, workbench so we need we actually do not need to reinstall any of these but uh, in a, a typical scenario you, you you would have the check mark against these and these would get installed now we don't need any communication structures now i didn't install them last time 
hence it's actually uh, uh, you know they are selected so you might want to right click and say do not install any below the same for the data source we don't want the data source right now we are going to replicate the data source from the source system instead so do not install any below same for the info package we're going to create our own info packages we are good we are not going to need transfer rules because basically these are 3.x features same with the info source we don't need any info source we don't need the transfer structure don't need the source systems because they are already in fact uh, they might not even be selected like you can see they are already defined in the system we are going to need the data store object uh, once we uh, you know the when we when we actually have a look at the data source we'll discuss why a data store object is required for this particular data source and why can't we just load data to the info cube now we're going to leave that as it is we will not take any of the routines uh, please be advised that routines are required uh, for loading GL uh, GL items or, or you know even some of the standard cubes but right now just to keep it simple and ensure that everything is installed uh, I am not going to take any routines into consideration same with the info source and transformation and the update rules we are going to create our own transformations then the, the reason I have asked you not to install all this is because they might actually cause uh, errors during installation. Now that we are ready, we are just going to do a simulation before we go ahead and install these objects. The simulation seems to be fine. It's all green. Great. Now we are just going to go ahead and install it. There you go. We have installed the content. Looks like we have some warnings. It might be worthwhile to just have a look at those warnings and what they are about. So, ATGL does not exist. Seems to be fine. There are no errors as such, so we should not be in any great deal of uh, trouble. Let's just go ahead and check whether these objects were actually installed in our system. Do a refresh before you check for them. Go, uh, you would want to go to the modeling workbench, of course. Do a refresh. Look at the info providers because we installed the info providers. And looks like we have our master data objects. Yes, we were supposed to get our cubes. They might be on their way because installation uh, please do remember that installation takes some time you might not want to you know assume that it's not there yet let's give it some time there you go there you go great now if you just have a look at them now you might see that they might have some errors in fact they have properly installed great let's look at the dso as well looks like everything is fine everything is active just in case uh, uh, something is inactive, you might want to check what the error is. Usually, uh, the most common errors are because some of the objects, uh, some of the info objects or key figures might not have uh, installed or might have installed, uh, might not have uh, installed in a proper order. Uh, at, at which time the in or, or might not have been installed, you might have missed an info object somewhere so what happens is the cube becomes inactive but uh, once you uh, but before you go ahead and uh, activate it you might uh, want to go back to bi content install that uh, info object from bi content and once it's in installed properly you can come back to the modeling workbench and reactivate the info provider be it the dso or the cube that is it for the bi content installation we have successfully finished first part of it now in the second part what we are going to do is we'll have a look at uh, the data source and how to extract data from the data source and uh, create our data flows that are relevant to 0fi gl underscore 0fi underscore gl underscore 10 data source thank you